3-74C, use a diagram of the equation mat or some other method to explain why negative x minus 3, in parentheses, is equal to negative x plus 3. So I can actually think of two ways to explain that. So we'll start out with the equation mat, because that's one you're the most familiar with. So if we draw an equation mat, and then we'll put the equal sign down here, and then we've got the dotted line down the middle, and we've got plus region up here, negative region down here. So if we were going to draw the first term in here, we would put it down into the negative area, and we would draw a positive x tile. So we're coloring that in to show it's positive. And we've got three negative one tiles, so we'll put those in. And then over on the other side, we've got a negative x tile, and we have three positive one tiles. So we'll fill those in. Okay, so the way to demonstrate that this side is equal to this side is to show that if we grab all these and flip them up here, the x tile gets positive here and it becomes negative up here. These little three guys are negative and they become positive because we flip them over. So now both sides match. So that's one way to show it. The other way is to show it on paper. So negative x minus 3 is equal to negative x plus 3. Okay, so when you've got a negative sign in front of parentheses like this, it's really, um, you're really using the distributive property to flip. So there is an invisible one in front of here. So just as when you have a variable like x, you know that if you multiply, oh, that's not showing it very well, let's say you have a variable like x, you know that 1 times x is equal to x. So you can always assume that anything with a variable or this is a unit, anything has a 1 in front of it. So 1 times whatever that is is always going to equal that value. So we can assume when there's a negative sign that there's really a negative 1 in front. And so now we use the distributive property. We multiply this term times the first term, and we multiply it times the second term. So negative 1 times x is going to make that a negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 makes that a positive 3. And so now you can see that these two sides are equivalent.